Hi, this is Peter Nash from the Adobe Experience Manager podcast here at Axis 41 with another video spotlight. I wanted to take a minute to explain some differences in the new environment regarding assets within the Digital Asset Manager, also known as the DAM. This will be a three-part video spotlight, uh, so let's go ahead and log in and take a look. I'm running a local version of the base install, so I'll just go ahead and put in admin, admin. As you can see, this is much different from the screen that you're used to seeing. Uh, I think I mentioned this in one of the other video spotlights that one of the things Adobe wanted to do is make the system much friendlier for tablet or touch devices. Um, so that's why we have things a little bit bigger. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the assets. When we first click into the assets, you see the folders within the section. Um, using the icons here at the top, you can actually create new folders or upload uh, new assets. This is pretty easy, so we won't bother to walk through that. For our purposes, we'll just uh, use one of the default folders of Geometrics data. I'll click this Geometrics Outdoors folder. As you can see, uh, you still nest folders within folders, so we haven't changed any functionality there. Um, I'll go ahead and click this Banners folder. What comes up is called a card view of all the assets. Um, it's a really handy way of, of seeing exactly what is there um, as the thumbnail for each one is quite large. Um, the system utilizes what is known as infinite scroll. So if you end up with a lot of assets in your folder, it's only gonna load a portion of those assets at a time. Then, uh, as you scroll down, it will load more assets for you to view. Depending on your connection to the server, this can take a while to load. Since I'm running this instance on my local machine, the load time is pretty negligible, so we won't really see any issues. Also, the Geometrics default folders don't have that many assets loaded in them. Other sites I've worked with have hundreds uh, and even thousands of assets. You can imagine how painful that would be to scroll through them. Another option is to display the assets um, in what's known as a list view. To do that, you just come over here to the show as list icon in the top right hand corner. And now we have our assets in a list view. It really comes to preference as to which is better. Uh, I think I prefer the list view. Um, if you decide to use this list view instead of the card view, you still do have to deal with the infinite scroll. But since everything's smaller, I think this allows you to see more items. Um, you know, again, it really just comes down to preference. In part two, we will look at editing the properties of an asset.